Hey everybody, Patricia Cara here, and you're watching Dish with Trish, and I'm here with a really good friend, Tiffany Hendra. And I've known Tiffany for years. We worked together, um, doing different shows, and going through the audition process. Well, Tiffany is here today to tell us more about what she's been doing. She is a life and style beauty expert, mm -hmm. coach, mm -hmm. and host, creator, editor. I mean, yeah. she does it all. So you have to these days. And that's I what I love to. about you. Yeah. You have Sanctuary of Style, which is sanctuaryofstyle.net, SOS. Remember that? Yes. Look it up. It's uh, about fashion, mm -hmm. beauty, fitness, shoes. I love Everything shoes, but, that women love, but basically. There's yeah. more to it. And that's, I was looking through your site. I remember when she first started years ago and where it's at now. Mm -hmm. And um, there's more to it. You're very spiritual, and that's what comes across. I mean, it's not just about your outside. It's what's inside. Yeah. Thank you for noticing that because that's, that's my mission and so I'm glad that that resonated with you. I believe, and maybe I'm crazy, but it's a new approach to style through your spirit because think about it, especially living in LA, you can be a size two, have the most amazing Louis Vuitton, your <laughs> hair done on Rodeo Drive, but if you aren't comfortable in your own skin, really love yourself and who you are then all of those external things really don't matter, right? So, so it's true. about building your confidence, truly embracing everything about yourself, your quirks, your strengths and weaknesses. Uh, think about it. I have girlfriends that are a size two and they sparkle and they radiate. Uh, maybe they're not the most fashionable. And then I have girlfriends that are a size 22 that you just make them. Just work it. And <laughs> they're confident, they're comfortable, they rock right. that size 22. And you just feel oh, amazing God. in their presence. They have that twinkle in their eye. And I'm sorry, but that twinkle is worth more than, you know, fitting into a size two skinny jeans. That's so yeah. true. And I love that that's what you're about. And that's what you talk about on Sanctuary Excel. Where did it all come from? How did that start? Where did that begin? It began with, first of all, since I was little, girlfriends would, you know, whether I was in a cheerleading squad or a, a, a sports team, I always seemed to have these amazing groups of friends, whether I was little or all the way up. Everyone would love to come in my closet. Uh, and I just remember a few years ago thinking, okay, how can I incorporate this, this passion to empower women, uh, throw in, you know, my first love of, of fashion. I started out in modeling. So how can I combine all of this? And I was helping a girlfriend get ready for a date, and she wanted to borrow a dress, and she was in my closet. And, and you you're know, such a great girlfriend. Oh, and <laughs> no, I appreciate you. Oh. We've been friends for so long. Um, I feel the same way. Yeah, I just, Definitely. I think there's nothing better than girlfriends fanning each other's flames. You know, I mean, like helping us be the best that we can be. So I remember being in this closet, and watching my girlfriend come in, so nervous about this date, and just fidgeting, and you know that that <laughs> feeling of oh, my hair. And we put together a few different outfits, and did her hair and makeup, and it was like, bam! You know what I mean? The shoulders she was go feeling back. It. She was rocking it, and that's what we should radiate every single day. And then life <laughs> happens, and EMS <laughs> happens. But uh, and I thought, okay. Maybe I should start incorporating video content. YouTube was just taking off. How can I? How can I do this? You know, I really didn't know what I was doing. Well, but you did it well, though. Even from the get-go, and it, you come you. a long way. But you've been doing it well from the start. Thank you. And it's a thank lot. Of, it has to do with who you are as a person. Thank you. Because um, the other thing I got from your site was you are so inspirational. And when I started doing Dish with Trish, I truly was looking at your site. I remember writing down, I need to check out her site more mm -hmm. and really kind of get more of what she's doing. And you, I got so much from watching oh, you God. and I learned so much and your message and what you had to say, it really touched home. And what was great is I bumped into you at an audition. Yeah. You, right after I went through this, um, I see you at an audition I'm thinking, Okay, it was really meant to be, and I was so excited when you said, do this, you come over and do this yeah. with Because That's when you have, have that passion, you have that dream, and now you're birthing it, and, you know, just keep going. It's my keep baby. Going it. Yeah. Just to get more into the inspirational part of it and the spiritual side of it, you work with young women. Yeah. Well, women helping women, you're all about yeah. that, but even young girls, which 
Tell us more about that. Yeah. That's where my real heart is in my whole 20s, which, you know, we worked together and you even said that. You're like, I would have never known. I was a hot mess. I so <laughs> never would have been able to tell. We talked a little bit before the camera, just catching up, and I would have never, ever, yeah. ever known. Because yeah. you... It, you yeah. were just, you seemed so together. And, yeah. And you it was were together, but and you were going through things. That's the problem, I think, with a lot of women. Um, you know, I self medicated. I, I did, you know, drugs every weekend. I wasn't sure of myself, but I was able to put on the show for everybody. But on the inside, I was dying. And I felt like I wasted. I know it's not wasted now because I have the but experience time. to help young women, but I don't want young women to waste their whole 20s like I did. You know, I love that you are putting that out there and helping so many women, whether they're young women or women your age or older. I think that is so huge and so important, and we need more and more of that. Absolutely. Um, having a sisterhood where you can just let Absolutely. your hair hang, you know, just cut the crap and keep it real. That's one of my things. cut the crap and keep it real. And we're going to yeah. be doing more of that uh, well, while on camera, but yeah. yes, I'm excited even off camera. We're going to be dishing a little bit more over our dish. We both had brought a little something. Yeah. Like, when somebody comes to your home as a Greek, I can't cook. Don't tell my mom that. Um, I have spinach pie, which are so yummy. And you made some popcorn, which is yes. fabulous. I love Thank it. You. And, and I can't say popcorn is usually addicting, but tell us why this is even more addicting. Okay. This, all my friends want me to make this if I'm coming over for a party or whatever, which is so easy for me because I don't have to do like a full thing. But uh, I do it old school on the stovetop in a pan. Wow. And for the younger generation. I know, they're like, my, there's, there's, it's not just microwave popcorn. I can't even eat microwave popcorn after. Really? Oh, no. Um, if you, I do olive oil, and I saturate the bottom of the pan until it you know, spreads. I keep pouring. It's probably a little bit more than you should probably use, but um, olive oil is good for the skin. Yes, it is. Uh, As a Greek girl, again. Yeah. It's a Mediterranean diet. So yeah. I know. You've been aged a day since I met you. I love her. Have some more wine. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle garlic powder. Like, like we're in the oil, okay, garlic powder, mm -hmm. pepper, sea salt, and a couple dashes of cayenne pepper. That's my favorite. Yeah. Favorite. Just let it start to simmer. You can kind of start seeing it bubble. And the key thing is white popcorn, not yellow corn. And it's hard to find, that. but it's very soft. Uh, once you eat white popcorn, it's hard to go back to yellow popcorn. You'll see the different, um, just in the, the consistency and the really? texture. Yeah. yeah, I have mastered this. Is really this. good. Yeah, thank you. And thank I you. actually, the next time we meet, I will have to do <laughs> the chocolate popcorn. My yes. sister taught me. She's a yeah. kindergarten teacher, and she does a chocolate popcorn, which that'll be for another time. But it sounds amazing. And I'll have to make that for you next thank time you. we get together, and yes. we'll have to do another segment where we dish about some more stuff yes. going on in our lives. Um, okay, so we've gotten the food. Yeah. I want to know more about fitness, your beauty regime. Oh I want to know, because you... Like, Again, let's eat a little bit. <laughs> Beauty, I just, mm. you glow. Aww. That's that's a good way of putting it. You always seem very happy. And again, it's internal and external. Yeah. It's it's the package that I see in you, and I, I think a lot of people see. Oh, thank um, you. So what is it you do to stay healthy, feel good about yourself, um, give us your day-to-day? -day? The most important thing uh, that I also am teaching when I mentor young women I wish somebody would have taught me this when I was 18. <laughs> but I think as far as we can talk about true fitness and all that, but mm -hmm. the most important thing I will not uh, go without, and I know that it helps me stay peaceful and grounded every day, and I don't go to my Blackberry, I don't go to the computer, Ooh. and I make coffee. And I am alone for the first hour. And, and some days you don't have the hour, but I get up really early. Um, to try to put that into your day, fit that in. I mean, you think you've got 24 hours, right? You can dedicate the first hour to, I write my journal, I pray, I meditate. Sometimes I just sit there and I'm quiet. Uh, and then those days I've tested this, that I actually check an email or... I try to turn my phone over so you can't see. Yeah, I've done the that. Text. <laughs> I'll go in the kitchen and it, it, I have it plugged in kind of close to the coffee pot, which is not good. And those days that I do not stick to my program and my practice, I am off kilter all day long. Really? I am not in a place of peace. And my thing is, when you're in a place of peace, you're in a place of power. When you are at peace and you're grounded, it doesn't matter what comes your way during the day. You can, you handle, can handle it. it. Love it. Yeah. Sadness. 
You're yeah. inspiring me now because uh, the first thing I do is look at my phone. No. The last thing I do is look at my phone. I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night and I have it over my head. No. And I look at it and my husband literally is going to thank you because I'm going to try this. Yeah. And I'm going to change my ways, at least try. <laughs> Unless you are a mom that has children that are maybe, you know, you have a teenager that's gone out for the evening or whatever. Of course, you. Um, I know, you have got to have your phone on so that your children can reach you. Right. But who else is, I mean, seriously, think about it when we had pagers and just oh my answering machines. I mean, we're too accessible these days. <laughs> too. And I feel like panicky sometimes because I do have with everything I have going on like you get Facebook emails you get Twitter direct so messages coming people at tweet you. you and this this and Instagram and all and I and love all that stuff those answers start mm -hmm. to drop but they expect you to reply yeah. right there and then mm -hmm. and then you feel bad if you don't reply right there yeah. and then so then it sets off this whole thing where your insides are just like see oh. you do you're right you're so absolutely right that is the biggest tip if I can leave any beauty tip with you today is is I mean, you know, some people, especially if you do have kids, you're not going to have a whole hour. That's a luxury. Um, but I do get up very early. It's just the way I'm programmed. I always have. So it's easy for me because it's still a little dark outside. I make the coffee. It's quiet. I get quiet. And I write my journal some days, most mornings, at least every other morning, get my crazy thoughts out. Going back to the health and fitness, mm -hmm. what do you do for fitness? I mean, I know you do your meditation, your journal. Uh -huh. Do you work out? Oh, what we were talking about earlier, I started walking when I was about 13 in our subdivision. Walking. And that's also a form of, it, I call it moving meditation. I love that you said that because mm -hmm. I'm a big, big, huge mm -hmm. walker. And you get, that's my it helps your thoughts thighs and it helps your mind. So true. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. I just wrote an article about this. Mm -hmm. So I, I love that you said that. Moving meditation. Mm -hmm. I always have walked. I love, um, Bar method, and I just I'm tried to pop right the now. Yeah. Like, yes, oh, yeah, like yeah. tilt. Oh my gosh! It, it, like you're like doing these mini squats forever. You get a dancer's like, body. Yeah. It's really a, a dancer's mm -hmm. regime, and mm -hmm. it is so great. There's bar method, pure bar, cardio yeah. bar. Tried them all. I love the class. Yes. I, love I want to talk about your hubby. He's a musician. Yay. Tell us about your hubby. I know I'm promoting today. I love that um, she's promoting. I brought you a t-shirt. You're really great about. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love that you're always on social media and you promote mm -hmm. him and she, mm -hmm. she stands by her man and I love it. And he's yeah. a great musician. Tell us Thank more about you. him. Thank you. Uh, he is one of the most special musicians because he does everything. He writes the songs. He's the lead singer. Uh, he can even engineer and produce. He does acoustic guitar and electric guitar. He's oh in the plates of piano and things. things. That type of music that just reaches in and grabs your heart, makes your hand, your hair stand up. And I love it. Uh, he's just a very inspirational singer. Yeah. I see why you two are together. It's a good combo. Ah! Two inspirational people together. It oh, makes sense. Thanks. He's he's my hero. I call him my knight. You he's glow knight. when you even talk about him. Did ah! you see her? I know you saw it. Her face lit up oh. as soon as she started talking about her husband. So oh. it's really nice to see that because you always you always hear the other side yeah. from people like, oh, you know, yeah, I married my husband, da, da, da. So it's really, really a great yeah. thing to hear somebody say such positive things about her husband, and you truly love him, and it's a great match, obviously. Um, and the name of his band? Aaron Hendra. So Aaron Hendra Project. Uh, That's ahp.com. So check it out. Yeah. Uh, and it's called Project because he has a, a real philanthropic heart. He's, he's at core a humanitarian he will help anyone and everyone no matter who they are where they are in fact he's about to go back to africa and uh work with a friend of ours that has an orphanage and they're going to be putting uh lights in this orphanage um and my husband actually wrote a song about it so they're doing this whole major campaign to get this lighting in this orphanage we visited in southern sudan these kids, it's amazing. They always say, well, you're going to adopt all these kids and bring them back. And I actually <laughs> wouldn't want them to come and be tainted by America. They love education. And they do go to school. But there's just a generator on the orphanage. So, you know, they might have one light bulb up on a, on a pole. And so at night when it gets dark, they'll be under this one lamp. All of them huddled together? together. When they've got chalkboards, they don't have notebooks. Chalkboards doing their... 
studies, and that's what Project is all about. It's not just about him being a rock star, even though he looks, you know, he's not bad. <laughs> uh, musician. Yeah, I love it. but he, he uses, he combines, it's very unique what he does. It's really, really And that's unique. honestly, I see that you both have that in common, where what you do for a living, yeah. there, there's more to it. It's yeah. not just, everything's just not the external, your external or yeah. the typical, you know, host, model, or on camera yeah. person, um, and her husband being a musician. It's not your typical musician. There's a lot more to both of you, obviously. Oh, you. So I love that. I'm so excited, and I hope everybody out there will check out both sites, sanctuarystyle.net and the ahp.com. Yeah. Check it out. You won't be sorry. And we're going to hang out now off camera and uh, enjoy ourselves. Have some pop. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll go on a power walk. <laughs> yes, we will. Good idea. Yeah. Bye, guys. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.